I'm in Capelle, New Brunswick, a small town of about 2,200 people, known as the smoked herring capital of the world. This region produces 95% of the world's total output of this delicious smoked fish. Mario Cormier is the president of Capelle Herring Export, a distribution co-op that represents 10 different smoke houses. Together, they produce 20 million pounds of smoke herring per year. Mario, we are in a smoke house, eh? We are. And you have many like this? We have quite a few. We have over 20 plants in the Capoli area. It's something that uh, our ancestors started basically to, as a way to preserve yeah. and keep their catches, but it gradually uh, became a, an industry, okay. something that we are now proud of. And it's day. very unique to this area of yes. Acadia. Yes, eh? yeah. The particular product that we do is actually the only place in the world that it's done that particular way. Okay. And our markets uh, thrive for that. Okay, tell me, so when a boat is coming in. You yes. will receive these big buckets of, of yes, fish. Yes, they come in big uh, one-ton bins at, okay. the, at the fresh stage. And as soon as they get in the plant, the first step that we want to do is the most important, get, get the salt in there to, to really preserve it and keep it fresh. And then there's uh, the stringing process where uh, it's manually put on wooden rods. Okay. And then it's hung in these smoke houses that we see now. And we light up some actual fires with some wood and on some the ground. sawdust right on the ground. Okay, so this wood here we yeah, see behind that's is what used, we used to... every day. A lot of people think that it's still uh, these big uh, automatic smokers. No, but way. no, it's very traditional. It's very uh, unique, and uh, and it's dried out for depending on the outside weather anywhere from three to four weeks okay. until it gets dried out to the perfect, the perfect level for the, for the market. Humidity. Yeah. Loves this fish. Our biggest markets by far are uh, both Haiti and the Dominican Republic. They quickly fell in love with the product because number one, it doesn't need to be refrigerated. Uh, big advantage for them, having no electricity for the most parts of the poorest uh, people. And they cook with that on their daily routine. Okay. They put it in mostly everything. So that gives a lot of jobs to local people here. It is. It's uh, three to four hundred jobs in a small area. Even wow. as high in the peak season as five hundred. So in a small community, it's uh, a very important part of, uh, of the economy. You're really good at what you do. <laughs> we try to. We You're try the to. best. We are the best. <laughs> The people of New Brunswick perfected the art of making smoke herring like nowhere else. And for more than a century, they've been able to preserve this tradition and share it with the rest of the world. And that's why we are the best. Mm -hmm.